We have started a trip around the Minangkabau Highlands. Our starting point was the city of Bukit Tinggi, and the first major point of interest was the beautiful Pagaruyung Palace that you can see in our previous video. We travel by rental scooter. Now we proceed further on our route. Our next stop is called Rumah Tuo Kampai Nan Panjang in Balimbing village. This is the oldest preserved Rumah Gadang, traditional Minangkabau house. A wooden house with touched buffalo horned roof. It is believed that the house is more than 300 years old. Today it is turned into a free museum. But due to its remoteness, it isn't a popular tourist attraction. So there are no other visitors here but only us. The house is empty inside. We can see only some remained artifacts. We proceed on our route further and soon descend to the beautiful Sinkarak Lake. The lake is a nice place to relax and enjoy some panoramic views. We are crossing the Minangkabauk Highlands and approaching the southern foot of Mount Marapi. Our next stop is Pariangan village. It is believed that Pariangan is the oldest Minangkabau village in West Sumatra. There are new houses here too, but most of the houses are still in traditional Minangkabau style. They are called Rumah Gadang. There is an ancient tomb here, considered to be a tomb of a Pagaryung kingdom ruler. Today there is a large traditional mosque, probably the oldest preserved in Sumatra, and there are some hot springs nearby. 
These houses are not museums but residential homes of the local people. Here you can also see Surao, communal living quarters for unmarried males. Today the whole village is preserved as a national treasure. With Pariangan, our tour around Minangkabau Highlands ends. We're back to Bukit Tinggi and we are ready to go on a new scooter tour to the spectacular Harao Valley, a natural phenomenon called the Yosemite of Indonesia. So follow us further around West Sumatra and subscribe to our channel Journey Beyond the Horizon for more video journeys.